begin with practice set 8.2 now. Draw a rectangle ABCD such that AB is 6 cm and BC is 4.5. We have 6.0, it's considered as 6 only and BC is 4.5. Come on, let's draw a rough figure first. Rough figure is compulsory. You have to draw a rough figure. Okay, so we have A, B, C, D. Now, AB is 6, uh, 6 cm and BC is 4.5, 4.5. You know it's a rectangle. So that means opposite sides are equal. So 6 centimeters, 6 centimeters, 4.5 and 4.5 centimeters. It's very easy. What we have to do is start with the baseline first. Our baseline is 6 centimeters. So our baseline from here to here, A, B, 6 centimeters. Now it's a rectangle, you all know it's going to be 90 degree. All the angles are going to be 90 degree. So mark 90 degree from A. Here. Mark 90 degree from B. Here. Fine. And join. Okay. These sides are 4.5, 4.5. So what you have to do is measure 4.5. Okay. This is 4.5. 4.5 is measured. Now, from B, draw an arc of 4.5. From A, draw an arc of 4.5. Now, those arcs which you have done, you just have to join those arcs. And your construction is done. Now labeling is left. A, B, C, D, 90, 90, 90, 90, 4.5 centimeters, 4.5 6 centimeters. All right. Now let's do sum number two. Draw a square. W, X, Y, Z with side 5.2 centimeters. Okay, side is 5.2. Let's do the rough figure first. I'll draw the rough figure here. Square 5.2 W, X, Y, Z. One side is 5.2. All the sides are going to be 5.2. All the angles are going to be 90 degree. Okay, so let's begin. A base first. So our base is going to be 5.2. Right? Here. 5 and 2 tiny lines after 5. 5. So 5. 5.2. So W, X, 5.2. Two centimeters. Now mark 90, 90 both the sides. It's same as we've done the first sum, it's the same thing. Only thing here it's a square, so all sides are congruent. There it was a rectangle, opposite sides were congruent. 90, 90 here. Okay, now mark 90. 90, 90. As you know, all sides are 5.2. So either take 5.2 here or just measure this 5.2. So 5.2 is this. Okay. The same measurement. Fine. So 5.2. Draw an arc. Draw an arc. Now what you got to do is to join these arcs. So, W, X, Y, Z, 90, 90, 90, 5.2 centimeters, 5.2 centimeters, 5.2 centimeters. That's sum number two. Number three now. 
draw rhombus k element such that its side is 4 cm and angle k is 75 degree. So, now what, what they have given, they are saying it is a rhombus. Okay, it is a rhombus. K, L, M, N. One side is 4. One side is 4, that means all sides are going to be 4. One angle is 75. Remember, in rhombus, opposite angles are congruent. So, this is 75. So, this is going to be 75. But we don't know this angle. We can find it out. What we can do is, see, 75, 75, if we keep this x, x and x. If this is as x, this is going to be x. So, if we have, see, uh, angle k plus, sorry, measure angle k plus measure angle l plus measure angle m plus measure angle n all together no they make 360 degree why the sum of measure of all the angles of a quadrilateral is 360 now k is so what will keep l has x and therefore n also will be x because they both are congruent angles they are opposite so they are congruent so if if measure angle l is k therefore measure angle n is also k Opposite angles of rhombus are congruent. Fine. Opposite angles are congruent. So K is how much? K is 75 plus L is X plus M is 75 plus N is X is equal to 360. 75, 75, X, X. 75, 75 means 150. <coughs> 150 X plus X is 2X is equal to 360. So, 2x is equal to 360 minus 150. 2x is equal to 210. So, x is equal to 210 upon 2. 2 1s are 2 1s are 2 zeros are 2 5s are. So, x is 105 degree. That means this is 75, this is 105. Come on, let's draw. Basis, basis 4 centimeters. Okay. So our base is going to be of 4 centimeters. 4 centimeters. K, L. Now 75. Up, acute, right? So inside. 75. Between 70 and 80. Join your hundred and five. Okay, between hundred and hundred and ten. Hundred and five. Join now four centimeters mark from your cut four from your. Then join. That's it. Seventy five degree, hundred and five degree, K L M N four centimeters, four centimeters, four centimeters. That's it. Let's do sum number four now. If the diagonal of a rectangle is 26 centimeters and one side is 24, find the other side. We don't have to construct, we have to solve this sum. So I'll just still draw a figure here. Okay, just a freehand drawing. Diagonal is how much? 26. This is my diagonal. So this is 26 centimeters. One side is 24 centimeters. Find the other side. Okay, it is a rectangle. So, but top is this is going to be 90 degree. Okay, when you have a 90 degree, this becomes a hypotenuse. And when I use the word hypotenuse, it reminds us of Pythagoras. So, according to Pythagoras theorem, you have to find this, no? So, for we have a formula to find the hypotenuse. Same formula we can use to find this. That is Pythagoras theorem formula. Hypotenuse square 
is equal to side one square plus side two square. How much is side one? Side one is 24. Before that, we also have the hy hypotenuse. Hypotenuse is 26. So 26 square is equal to side one square plus we don't know side two. Side two square. So find out the square of 26. 26 into 26. 6 6 are 36. 6 2 are 12 plus 3 15. 2 6 are 12. 2 2 are 4 and 1 5. 6 676. 676 is equal to square of 24. Square of 24 is 576 plus side 2 square. Now subtracting this here 676 minus 576 is equal to side 2 square. So that is 100 is equal to side. 2 square. So root of 100 is equal to side 2y root because the square sign has gone that side. So root of 100 is 10. Therefore side 2 is 10 centimeters. So what they were asking find the other side. Answer is the other side is 10 centimeters. That's it.